As Cam's making his way up, a little bit of context. Uh, we're part of a Wednesday night Bible study group, a group of men that get together to read the Word and think about how it applies to our life. And the way our group functions is we tend to study the passages between uh, the messages that are being preached on Sunday. So last week on Wednesday, that left us studying the uh, chapter, uh, sorry, the passage from chapter 8 of Acts, where Philip and the Ethiopian meet. Philip shares the gospel with the Ethiopian, and he's baptized. Now, I wasn't actually there. I was away this week, Ken, but do you want to tell us a little bit about what happened on Wednesday night? Yep, I'm happy to. Um, morning, everyone. Um, yeah, so we read through the passage of Philip and the Ethiopian, um, and yeah, so we read through it, and um, just seeing how the Ethiopian, once he... Um, heard what happened about Jesus and the story um, after Philip shared it with him. Um, just the urgency, uh, he, he, he heard the good news and like, he found the first bit of order and he just wanted to change his life and get baptised and um, I guess I'd, my life oh, wasn't already changed. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying here but um, <laughs> yeah just hearing about that and um, we'll, we'll answering the questions after like after we read the passage, we answer the questions and uh, just talk about the passage. And um, I don't know, just talking about it and hearing everyone speak, I just thought, oh, it just became pretty clear to me that, that well, I, I already know who, who saved me and who my saviour is and, um, and who created me. And I thought, well, the Ethiopian, he, he didn't waste any time and he got baptised straight away. So I thought, why, why, why not? I, I may as well get baptised. I already, I already know what my faith is and um, so I guess after after we finished up and all I, I actually heard I, I heard Nick say something like about owning your faith and that's sort of baptism you're declaring your faith and I thought well yeah I'm, I'm ready to declare it and own my faith so um, afterwards I made a few phone calls and um, yeah went around to Nick and Nicole's place and got baptised so which is very <laughs> Now, that, that's just a wonderful testimony to God's goodness and the conviction of the Holy Spirit at work in Cam's life when he read the Word of God and went and did likewise. Um, now, this is also Cam's last Sunday with us for a little while, isn't it? Yeah, you're about to head back to Wollongong. Yep. Um, but he thought he'd take the opportunity to share some of his testimony as well. So, over to you, mate. Thank you. Yeah, um, so I was lucky enough to grow up going to this church and raised in a um, Christian household, so um, mum and dad introduced me to Jesus pretty early on, um, which I'm pretty thankful for, and um, no, just seeing mum and dad, um, I guess, run the race for Jesus, that's always been pretty encouraging, but um, I guess growing up, just being young, I, I didn't fully understand what, what it was all about, um, but, and sort of going through to High school, I guess it sort of becomes a bit more real when you're in your teenage years. But um, yeah, I guess I, I could probably say I was a fan, not a follower of Jesus. Um, and I guess, yeah, my, my words and actions are probably far from, you, you, you probably would have been, um, yeah, no, we're, I'm a sinner and we're all sinners. And my words and actions probably showed that. But, um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty cool part about God. Like, we... We're all sinners and we don't deserve his love, but he, he knows all we've done and he still picked up the cross and um, said, I love you anyway. So um, like we don't deserve that love, but I guess it sort of, yeah, like going through high school and it didn't really, until I moved away to Wollongong, I guess I sort of had to figure it out for myself. Um, like what, what I believed in and it took me a while and pretty easy to get caught up in the wrong path but um, yeah going down to Wollongong I guess it became a bit more real for me and um, uh, it wasn't until I sort of had a pretty rough week one of my um, mates Dane Richards he took his own life um, and I guess that week was um, yeah pretty rough for me um, and it wasn't until that sorry um, that that Sunday I just thought yeah I'll go to church and 
um, went down to, there was a church down at St. Michael's, uh, uh, down in Wollongong called St. Michael's, and um, I guess going, going to church that night, I um, just felt God's comfort. And I'll share a verse here in Matthew 11, um, Matthew 11, 28, where Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and burden is light. Um, and I guess just being in the presence there, um, talking to people and um, hearing God's word, and I guess I, I found rest in my soul there. Um, and yeah, no, I, I, I guess looking back at it, the people who um, God sent to me to that night to talk to, um, no, it, was, it was a blessing. And from there, I guess I sort of grew in my faith. And um, no, that, that church was great for me down at Wollongong. And um, yeah, the pastors there, Mark Smith and um, yeah, Matt Shannon, like Mark, I was able to have a lot of great conversations and um, learn from them. And um, I'd go to, we had a, they didn't call it Bible study, it was growth group on a Monday night and um, just questions answered there and learning and gaining understanding um, of who Jesus really is and what he did for us. Um, now it was, it, was, it was pretty special. But um, yeah, I guess since then coming home, it's been great encouragement just being here with you all. I haven't been able to be here every Sunday because of footy, but, um, you know, I, I've, I've enjoyed my year here. And another good verse I've always gone back to um, is Proverbs. I oh got no, sorry, just give us a second. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Um, Dad showed it to me, but it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and, and in all ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Um, and, and that's just been a great encouragement for me, um, just to lean on God. And even when you don't know what's going on, um, lean on, lean on Him, and He'll make your paths straight. And many times, um, even this year, I, I haven't known what where where my paths are leading, but He's He's made my path um, very clear to me where He wants me. And um, so I'll, I'll be moving down to Wollongong next week, and um, I guess I'm keen to connect back in there. And, um, but yeah, no, that's sort of my story, and thanks for listening. Also, it's, it's not a tear, something's in my eye, I think it's a bug or something. It's red, yeah. Let's just pray for our brother, Cam. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for Cam's testimony that he's been able to share with us this morning, for the faithful witness of Glenn and Margot in his life, and for the way that this church, through the years, has ministered to him. Uh, we thank you too, Lord, for his time in Wollongong and the way you shaped his faith in the churches there and through those that surrounded him. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the last year that he's been with us, for the way you've grown him, matured him. We especially praise you for his baptism through the week and we commit him to your care as he heads back to Wollongong uh, this week coming. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would use him mightily in your service there, uh, that he might be a bold witness for you, that he would share his faith with those around him and that you would continue to mature him in the image of Christ. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks.